Um, we are going to be going to uh, Patricia, Patricia Duke uh, Cox. Hello, Patricia. Are you there now, Patricia? You are not a viewer. I am. Um, you uh, are. Well, you work with one of the many charities um, whose who's, uh, the, the Queen was associated with. You work for the Croquet Association. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about the Croquet Association. Okay, the Croquet Association has been in existence um, for over a hundred years, and the Queen became our patron when she um, went onto the throne. And so we do advertise that fact on our website. We know that she played croquet. The first patron, the first monarch who was a patron, was actually Edward VII. He was the first one, and he loved it. I think possibly because Queen Victoria's children grew up in the golden age of playing croquet. So that could have been the reason. So not only uh, Edward VII, George V, we know that Elizabeth herself played, and we have pictures of Charles playing it. So we do kind of hope that he might become our patron. It might move across automatically. We're unaware at the moment, but that's the situation. I hope that helps. It, it does help, in, indeed. Um, cro croquet isn't really a sport that we, we, we don't see it on the national curriculum at, at schools. It does have this association, doesn't it, of Patricia, of being uh, the sport that, that the, the well-heeled play, let's say, croquet. Um, does it have a broader appeal than that that maybe we're not aware of? It certainly does, and it appeals to a lot of people, and there's more than one form of the game that can be played. I think the original game, which is known as Association Croquet, has a lot of strategy to it, and it takes a little bit of learning. But there is another form of the game called Golf Croquet, which is quite simple to understand and is a sequential game. Uh, some people consider it quite a social game because all the players are on the court at the same time. There are lots of courts or lots of courts around the country. There are over 200 clubs within the country of England. And we do also work in close liaison with Wales. There's also a Croquet Association of Scotland. So, yes, it appeals. Newer clubs, I suppose, in the last couple of decades have played the easier form that entices people to come and enjoy good weather, good company, feel a lot healthier and enjoy the social aspect as well. On, on a personal level, with um, Queen Elizabeth II having been patron, it, patron of the Croquet Association, what does her, her death mean to you? Well, I would like to share here the uh, president's thoughts. Uh, he does did uh, send out a message to say that Croquet Association members do share the grief that's being expressed across uh, the nation um, at the death of our patron, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And of course, we do send our sincere condolences to King Charles III and all the family. And we do know that they play croquet and we hope that they will continue with the patronage that we have experienced and enjoyed since 1901. OK, fantastic. Thank you, uh, Patricia, uh, there from the Croquet Association. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. Um, now, I think I think we're done, are we, Rafe? Are we, are we finished for today? It's been lovely to have you here. Thank you. Maybe you. I'm not. But... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay with uh, GB News, won't you, for the rest of the day?